Welcome to The Good Intention Show. I'm Tim Ray, your host, and we are broadcasting from the UI Radio Network, I should say UI Media Network, uh, sponsored by United Intentions Foundation. I am here with a very special guest, Gloria Parker, who is known as the Psychic Bartender. And we're going to be discussing in depth not only about her life and what she's been up to, but also about numerology. Yes, numerology. I didn't really know much about it until recently, and she has blown my mind. So one, I want to say welcome, Gloria. I'm well, so glad to have you, you here. And Hi. two, first female bartender ever in Georgia. What is all that yeah. about? Well, you know, uh, I came to Georgia uh, to work a restaurant downtown Atlanta called The Mousetrap. Mm. And I moved here from Cape Canaveral. Well, not originally. I'm from upstate New York. But I mean, I moved uh, to Florida and I worked there. And the funny thing about that was, is in New York, you could be 18 <laughs> and serve liquor. Well, uh -huh. when I got my little butt to Florida, that wasn't the case. You had to be 21. So this so, is a little while ago. but This was. Yeah. I'm 72. And this was quite a while ago. Well, in okay? the 60s. Yeah. It was in the early, it was in the mid 60s that I got to Cocoa Beach. And that's where Cape Canaveral is. Right. So you we. You and I dream a genie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> and that, yeah. And that, she was, that was going Eden, on Barbara there. Eden. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. I love that show. I didn't know. you? Yeah, I sure oh, my did. God. I always wanted to be that genie, you know. <laughs> and he wasn't bad looking either, by the way. So, I mean, no. you know, sometimes I go, ooh, I could do that. But I don't want so much him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not so much him, but he was a cutie, yeah. and I loved the show. But um, anyway, so I started to, so my boss at the time, he um, he had to, you know, you have to get a license when you tend bar. Yes. You know, everybody has to be, you mm -hmm. know, numbered, and you, you go every year. It's a money thing, really, but every year you have to go and let them know where you're working, and you, they take a picture, they give you a license to do your work, and, you know. So every time that the people would come in, like the police people, he would say to me, go get lost. <laughs> I'd say, oh, okay, they must be coming. So I would get off the floor and go make, you know, to kind of look around, say, okay. So when I got here, his he lost his daughter. The cape went totally crazy. We It ended up shutting down. The whole beach was like dead zone. Mm. And us girls, me and my friends, we, we couldn't make a living. So you had to come to Georgia. So he was going to open up the mousetrap down on Spring Street okay. downtown. Gotcha. So all of us just wandered up this way. And then you eventually became the, the bartender there. And well, I didn't want to work food much anymore. And right. while I was waiting for the mousetrap to get their act together, we were all ended up in a place called the Brave Falcon Lounge. Mm -hmm. And that was all the Braves, all the Falcons, mm, right. all the action. All the action. And It's hard to believe, Gloria, that uh, because in today's time that there you know a female bartender was not really accepted back then where all bartenders were basically Oh honey male. come on women weren't accepted then <laughs> What are you <laughs> talking about This was before the this was before the women's movement Yeah sure You know was, this yeah. was before women had a voice at all Right You know they right. were all you know can I say you know I called all women at that time I had no respect for them they were household whores for me yeah. I mean you know you got your 200 to spend in the grocery and this is what you did and everything and then the men pretty much did what they wanted right not all i don't sure. want to make it sure. sound like that i had some uh, listen i don't have anything against men i have always been treated very well by all men respected and so i'm not one of them women that got any kind of grudge no, I, I, yeah, I, I don't I mean, see that at all in fact i was going to ask you did you find yourself um did you find yourself more so now uh like wow what a change from back then to where i am today and i assume you feel much more liberated, yeah. even though you might not have been part of that movement, or at least not directly, but you appreciate the difference of how you're treated. Well, I was very much part of that Were movement. because I Well, I lived it, honey. Oh, Just yeah, think about yeah, it. Yeah, I lived it. it. I tended bar well, you, while that was, was going, going on, on and right. all my people at the bar were men. Yeah. And they were, and they were all like, you know, but they, they, everybody, listen, everybody loves their bartender. Right. I mean, you know, and back in the day, these weren't drunks. These were men that stopped for an hour, hour and a half, got out of the traffic, calmed down after a day's work, and went home. I want, I want to hear more about that, but also I want to get into numerology. When we get back from break, okay. let's discuss, uh, here you are, the female bartender, first female bartender in Georgia, who now is not only giving advice, but is reading numbers and, uh, and pretty good at it, too. 
We're talking to Gloria Parker. She's the first female bartender and also a numerologist. And she tells all about people through their numbers. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Tim Ray. I'm the founder of the United Intentions Foundation at unitedintentions.org. Everything is energy, and that's all there's to it. Match the frequency of the reality that you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. There can be no other way. And this is not philosophy, this is physics. Now, I just gave you a quote from, not me, but from Albert Einstein. He said a long, long time ago. So what does he mean by matching your frequency of the reality you want to experience? First, you have to realize that not only as humans, but everything is made up of energy. And at an atomic level, everything's vibrating at certain frequencies. Even on a collective level, we're vibrating at a certain frequency. This is very important to know. Once you understand that, you're closer to understanding what Einstein meant by matching our reality and matching the frequency, you'll have that experience. Stay with me here because our thoughts, feelings, and emotions vibrate at specific and unique frequencies. There's a physical phenomenon going on and with our thoughts and feelings, and we have to realize that whatever state of being that we create through our thoughts, feelings, and emotions, we will attract that experience. That's the law of attraction. So it behooves us to choose our thoughts carefully, at least be aware of our state of being, because that's the experience we will have. Learn more at UnitedIntentions.org and begin manifesting your passions one intention at a time. Welcome back to The Good Intention Show. I'm Tim Ray, your host, and I'm here talking to Gloria Parker. We were just talking about her being the first female bartender in Georgia, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, now I'd like to talk about, if you don't mind, about numerology. And so okay. you developed this, this skill set, let's say, over the years of bartending. And uh, how did it turn into... Not no so much. I no. didn't develop okay. anything. Okay, right. numerology has been around since the beginning of time. It All is right. our foundation of the universe. What everything does that mean? well everything's built on numbers just try and tell me one thing that's not everything that's not measured everything that doesn't if you look at a globe you have you know you have all of the lines all of the parallels there it, in astrology everything is is done by you know all of these signs and where everything is and goes and so everything is measured there is not one thing so it's a foundation. Now, don't forget all those years. I mean, I did 10 bar for 33 years. And all those years, we didn't have calculators. We didn't have the, all the things that you have today. So we had to use our brain. So if I, you said to me, oh, I want to pay for mine and let her pay for hers, I did it all in my mind. <laughs> so numbers just always, I always, even in school without having much of an education, I always was good at math. Yeah, well, Always math, math must be a prerequisite to, ha to be a numerologist, I would assume. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah, we have to be able to count. count yeah. <laughs> and you have to use nine numbers. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's, let's start there. So nine numbers. Uh, Really, nine numbers of the universe, nine numbers of what? Why nine numbers? Why not 29 numbers? Why not 149 well, numbers? Well, because one to nine is makes your 19 and your 29 and your 39. There's only nine numbers. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. <laughs> See? Is zero a number? So, no. Mm -mm. Right. So, that's, you know, one to nine. So, if you add up your numbers and you are a one, um, you know, that means you're a go-getter. If you're a two, it means you like other people and they like you and you like being a couple. You, three is fun and four is foundation and five is us. And which is? Which is really um, freedom through change. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, and really not, you know, like we can try to plan stuff, but normally it doesn't work. We're being, late, being we forget. Free. Being We're free is important. Just really. I mean, it's like, and it's, it's a free that I really have a struggle um, even talking about. I'll say to people, right. I wish I could tell you more about the feeling. It's the core that we need filled 
and it, it's a feeling of freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like I want to be free from you. Yeah. I don't want to be free from anything. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's a feeling that I keep trying to fill. Right. Okay. Interesting. And so that's five. Yeah, it's a five. And the six is all about L V E love. Everybody, really? you know, it's all about relationships. And uh, the seven is all your spirituality. So whether you like it or not, you are going to end up learning and being a spiritual person first. Hmm. And that's where you said you started the radio station without knowing much about it. Mm -hmm. I published Aquarius newspaper. I started a paper I'd never picked up one in my life and published 22 years. So, I mean, it's like, and that was all God. It was dreams, it was all spirit, it was all spiritual because I'm a seven. Right. So then the eight is all about money. Mm. If you, everybody who has an eight, you can bet that they have more money and financial opportunities than well, the rest of the people. This probably means more symbolic than money. I can't imagine a universal truth that goes back thousands of years, even probably prior to banking and understanding of money is probably maybe prosperity or is it? Well, no, it just means that, I mean, even, honey, money's, money's money. I mean, you know, there was never, there was nothing, there was never anything. Now, I mean, there was a barter system yeah. before the money, the monetary thing. Well, I mean, thing. I mean, wealth or prosperity or having, uh, having things, I mean, just. You know what it really is, and I'm yeah. glad you mentioned it. it. I tell people, look, I'm not telling you you're going to be a millionaire, but you don't worry about money like most people. You right. go to bed and you, you have it figured out. And if you need extra, you know how somewhere in your universe, you know you can make it. Right. Because money just comes easy. Sometimes it, they actually get inheritance. Um, it's a lot of businesses. People see them as smarter and they want to be in business with them. Mm -hmm. All of those opportunities are more for them than the rest of us. Right. Doesn't mean the rest of us don't get that. Mm -hmm. It's just that they can count on it. Okay. And, okay. and, and then the nine, nine is my favorite. Well, I have a lot. I have a lot of favorite numbers, yeah. but the nine are the, nine the universal be. people in the planet that care about everybody. You know, they're the ones that sit in front of the TV and cry when they see a child that's you know going through an illness or St. Jude's uh, Hospital ad. These are the people that stop and just absorb it and and care. And so I love that, you know, and they're your volunteers. Right, sure. They're your volunteers. So these nine numbers each have its own interpretation or symbolizes some aspect of human nature. Right. Um, and so it, numbers is amazing. You think about how numbers capture the essence of being a human or a human desire or a human experience, whatever it may be. And I really didn't understand and really until you. I mean, I did numerology with a couple of people before, but I'm like, oh, it's kind of interesting, but you really kind of brought it home for me to understand a little bit more because there's, it's like astrology. There's no way you could be as accurate without knowing somebody. I mean, a stranger walking in and you read their numbers and you describing who they are, what, what their essence about, their core value of them, right? Mm -hmm. Which just by, <laughs> just by calculating some numbers together, it's pretty mm -hmm. phenomenal and pretty amazing. Well, can I stop you? Yeah. It's not just some numbers. I use their birth date that they chose when they entered this lifetime. <laughs> that is a big deal, yeah. okay? okay. You, this, you didn't plop in. You didn't choose that moment. Everything about you is not a mystery. It is actually a calculation, and you can find it all out through numerology and astrology. That is your roadmap. Mm. So when people think that they don't know something, I go, what do you mean? You're, you know, just go find out. You know, it might be not how you know it, like, you know, walking around every day, but you know that you can find those things that you think are mysteries because there are none. God is a good God. <laughs> God didn't just plop anybody in without a plan or without help. Mm -hmm. No way. And then let me just say, this is one thing because... Um, well, well know, let's hold that for okay. a break. All right. And when we get back, let's, let's discuss that and let's level this up. Let's talk maybe about our numbers. Okay. And like, as, as we know, how we're so similar and maybe describe what those numbers mean. And, and I've enjoyed that, by the way. All right. Yeah, I've okay. enjoyed that. All right, good. Okay. good. We're talking to Gloria Parker, the psychic bartender. And she also has many other things going on, uh, which we'll, we'll share about in this next segment. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Tim Ray, founder of the United Tensions Foundation. I want you to imagine a world where bullying doesn't exist. Or how about your child wakes up in the morning and is grateful for everything they have? or they actually believe in himself or herself. On top of that, imagine this. Imagine your child understands that their thoughts and feelings create what they experience. 
All this is possible with our Imagine If program. And it's all about social emotional learning, showing children how their thoughts and feelings create what they experience. To learn more, go to imagineifprogram.org. What if you could have whatever you desired with a simple thought? Wishful thinking? Science has proven that thoughts can change our reality. Join the movement and be part of an interactive virtual community that helps you take control of your life through the power of intentions. Learn to create the life you desire, one intention at a time. Sign up today for your free account and start creating. Hi, I'm Tim Ray, founder of the United Intentions Foundation. And how would you like to have a formula for manifesting whatever you want in your life? You think it's that easy? Well, maybe not that easy, but you could start out with this. Understanding that it's all about creating a state of being. Your state of being, how you act throughout your day, how you feel about yourself throughout the day, and being conscious of that in any given moment. And understanding these three principles, repetition, expectancy, and meaning. And adding that those three principles into your life could change and create the state of being that you would need to actually manifest what you want. Remember, repetition, expectancy, expecting what you really want, repeating what you want, and also adding meaning to what you want creates that state of being, a fertile land and fertile soil for you to attract what you truly want to experience. To learn more, go to unitedintentions.org. Welcome back to The Good Intention Show. I'm Tim Ray, your host. I'm sitting here with the one and only Gloria Parker, the psychic bartender, the first bartender ever, ever in this, forever in the state of Georgia, I should say, a female bartender, I meant to mention. Well, in a major city. I in mean, major you know, city. I, don't, I can't yeah. blame all that. Yeah, okay, sure, I mean, sure. you know. I know. Well, listen. Okay. I, but, I but wish somebody would go back and try to prove it. Yeah. You know? in, a ma- in a major city, and this was, I'm talking about, it was a, it was a club. It was a yeah. club that sat 500 people. Sure, I mean, sure. it was a real nightclub. That was, that made the difference. Right. And it wasn't at night. We actually opened during the day to bring the women in. Mm. And it was me and a couple, it was actually me and another gal that started it. And we served lunch and, you know, it was a 50, it was a 45 stool bar. <laughs> So look, we're talking about numerology and the numbers, and I know the story that we met with, tell the whole story here, but you mentioned before you even met me that we, once you got my birth date, that we were um, soulmates. soulmates. And so explain how that number is bringing soulmates together, and what does soulmate mean to, in your perspective? Well, if anybody's lucky enough to have married their soulmates, um, they, they just, they just you, it's the one person or the two people in a family that everybody else, they would say, gosh, you know, so-and-so is having some problems, blah, 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 and people worry about them. It's never even a thought for those people. Those people, they are the steadfast, they know, not that they don't have an argument here or there, but they probably maybe even don't. I mean, it's like pretty interesting. (laughs) But if they do, it's like they get on the same page. Like, they live on the same page. I guess that would be a nice way to say it. They live, and I've done tons and tons of numbers. I've only met two people that have the same life path as a partner, a same life path and year, because that's the two numbers that I think are important. You know, like when we met, okay, and I found that you were 52-7, I went, oh my God, he's a male Gloria. This is going <laughs> to be interesting. You know, it's like, holy crap, I've never met anybody that was a 52-7 that I knew I was going to be working with. I'm sure I have, but not, you know, maybe not even, I don't know. But it's, it was so interesting for me to, um, and then when I got talking about you to your staff, you know, when I went, well, you know, we like to, um, you have to finish our sentences. We stop in the middle. Our, I don't know whether it's our brain or whatever it is, but I mean, so it's, like, it's like, you know, you have to be able to keep up. 
with us, you yeah. know. And then when I re did my office, and I see you so much like me, you had a dinner party not too long ago, and I was, you know, and you graciously invited me. And um, it was so interesting to see on your way driving from your family event that you set up a very nice dinner party. I mean, it wasn't exorbitant, but it was like 15 people or whatever. You did it all by the phone. Your sons picked up the food. There was more, you could have fed an army. Those are all me. I <laughs> fed everybody for 20 years and two to three times a week. And I could put a dinner together or order in just like you did, which I'm a cook, so I cooked <laughs> for everybody. But I did it, you know, like in minutes. I can do that. I know how to do it. And that's because it's a five, the combination of the numbers of the birthday, it's a five, seven, and nine. Well, that's the two. two that's how we two. bring in people. And that's why even though we are a little bit, you know. Two being the coupling. Yes. Okay. The two is the you like people, people like you. And right. it's a genuine feeling. So it, you don't have to, like, um, you know, no matter what you say. I'll tell you something that was really interesting to me the other yesterday. I was talking to a mutual friend of ours. Okay. Okay. And this mutual friend um, needed um, a warehouse space. Mm -hmm. um, they're breaking down their company and they needed a warehouse space. And I'm not going to mention names, but one of your employees actually offered your garage because you need to clean out your garage. <laughs> and so they were more than ready to fit her stuff in your garage. And your garage wasn't even clean yet. But see, I'm gonna explain that because yeah. it's very important, people. I want to, I'm gonna tell you what that means to me. Yeah. For somebody that you know to offer something that you have that's not even hers, it wasn't, it's not even her garage, but she offered your garage because she knows you and she knows that if you knew somebody needed something that you could work out and offer, you would do it. Who does that? Who does Apparently that? Apparently a five, seven, and a nine. Well, <laughs> well five, two, seven. Five, two, seven. That's, right. a, that's who does it because people would do the same to me. Right. That people ask me all kinds of things and help or offer me. And, right. and I take it as an honor, and I know you do too. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, it's so, I go to a party of yours, <laughs> I walk in, there's, everybody's there. The birthday Who party. are you sitting with? You're sitting with your maids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, and I just looked over and went, uh, and I, because I'm recognizing <laughs> yeah. me, yeah. okay? I'm yeah. not making me up. To right. fit well, you. This is family to me. This yeah, is yeah. me. Yeah. yeah and that's yeah. how, and so I always say we're like, um, we fit with Aquarians, which I'm an Aquarian. Okay. And when you're married to an Aquarian, one of the things that is hard uh, for the Aquarian is they love everybody, everybody. They love everybody the same. And so when you're married, a lot of women or men that are married to an Aquarian, they can't get that one piece of them to love them more. And if you are a person that needs that, you won't stay probably with an Aquarian. And um, I, th th somebody asked a question, one of the tabletops, you know, they do their little thing. And one of the tabletops was, uh, what, is, what, do you, what does a friend have to be like to be in your life? And I got up, I took the answer, the question, and I said, you know what, nobody has to be anything for me. What you can't do is you can't lie, you can't be mean, you can't be uncaring, ungiving. You, you know, I gave a list of things that you can't be. But what you are is who you are, and I don't care who that is. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it. So what's, what else do you do? I mean, you, read, you do numerology. You have your own show here on the UI Radio Which Network. Which I'm loving, by the way. Called Thank the, you. Yes, yeah, called The Psychic Bartender. And you also are on another, another radio show. I do Anne, a blog Anne, show that I've been doing show. two and a half years with a mutual friend yes, of us, yes. Anna. Anna Banana, as yeah. we call her. And um, I think she helped you get started with your radio business. She was my business. first interview, an uh, interview meeting, and we just took right to it. So, but tell me about your Toastmasters. This is something that's never been done before. It's a, never been done. It's a, uh, it's a metaphysical Toastmasters. And, and we are, I mean, it was packed. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And it People was are like, so hungry for this information now, isn't they it? They are. I mean, yeah. we, we couldn't, you know what? We, I mean, I started the paper Aquarius in 1993, and it was, it was, a, a, it, it was a hard struggle. 
Now, I don't see anything in the way, no way of, of, of advancing people and helping people. Mm -hmm. We don't teach anything. They're, they've got to be ready and they've got to want the information. And I think that more people than not are ready for it. That's so, what I see. So you have this metaphysical Toastmasters and you enjoy that every Wednesday here I'm, in Roswell. It's very fun. You'll be joining. It's, yes. it's, there's no reason why people that, um, I mean, people are just, I mean, I, I had five or six new people in the room that have known me 30 years <laughs> that I haven't seen in 20. And wow. one of the things that I said when I was talking was, I don't, I've known you guys for for 20, 25, 30 years, I know nothing about you. <laughs> this is stopping right now. We're yeah. going to use our speaking time yeah. to talk about us and really share. You know, it's funny because maybe it is the numbers. It is in the numbers because I've known you for you know, months now, and I feel like I've known you all my life. Well, that's because of our connection, and I'm glad you mentioned that. Okay, see, when you said to me, um, you have a girl here in the office that's just not in the room right now, that she is actually, I've done both of their numbers, and she's marrying her soulmate, mm. okay? You have a girl in the room right here, and she is marrying a man. Well, the other one, I, I know they'll get married. I just, that's not said. Yeah, this one yeah. I think is said. Um, and um, their numbers are fabulous together. You know, so I love that. I love to be able to share that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking about me doing a show that's dedicated to couples. Absolutely. Because I think when you meet somebody, call me. I'll tell you whether, sure. you know, instead of wasting months and months, just maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not do that. Well, we've got a minute left, Gloria. What's next for you? I mean, you're 73 young. I, my, I think my next is um, to assist and help you. Wow. Is what I think. Wow. Listen, I am, you just made my whole life by saying that because... Yeah. I mean, I've been getting it very, very strong. I told you that the universe had given me a message a while back that they wanted me to talk to people while they drive. I did the seven in the morning thing and went, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. But, um, but I said to them at that time, I went, you know what? For a year, if that's what it took... You to do it. to to help, or I, and I'm thinking about my own yeah. self because I didn't know yeah. much about you yeah. and yeah. having this and it being up the street. Now you're even moving closer. I, <laughs> I could roll out of bed and be on the station. Well, you know, you heard it here, folks. Gloria and <laughs> Gloria Parker and Tim Ray going into partnership. So we'll be we'll be you'll be seeing us soon enough out in the circuit and making a difference. And uh, Gloria, thank you so much for coming thank in you, sharing honey. this time. Thank you, sweetie. No, enjoy every second of it, and yeah. um, you're wonderful. And guys, thank you for. Thank you for uh, listening and for watching, I should say. Remember, your perception creates your reality. So if you want to change your reality, change your perception. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care.